Hello, uh, welcome to the channel. Um, today we're going to do a what's on the car video. Uh, quite a few mods on this car. Um, so just going to try and quickly go through them as best I can. Um, anyway, let's get stuck in. So here she is, the 2015 Fist um, Fiesta ST. So I've uh, done quite a bit of work to this car. Um, it's basically got just about every conceivable mod I can think of except for an LSD which is on the cards and um, perhaps coilovers. I've got uh, uh, Mount Tune Sports Springs instead but basically just about every conceivable mod that I could think of that would provide any value and even those mods that don't are pretty much on this car. So, um, well, I uh, probably should just start. Um, it's a 2015 Fiesta ST. It's done just under 45,000 Ks and six years, so it's done pretty low Ks. It, I just use it as a daily. Um, I, oh, I, I ride to work a lot, so really it's, it's more of a weekender than anything. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just love it. It's, it's, it's such a cool car. The... Um, and it's so much fun to drive. Uh, so, bought it in 2015. It's a July build 2015. Um, didn't have any of those recall, coolant recall issues that uh, 2013 and 14's had. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's been good. So, the uh, before I bought the car, I'd actually, this is how bad it is, like, I actually bought the MP215 kit. Um, before I had the car, it arrived from uh, Mount Tune, UK, uh, and uh, while I was waiting four months for this car from Germany, um, uh, there were no uh, no Blue Spirit ST, uh, Spirit Blue STs in Australia left. So um, at the time, so I wanted a blue one, uh, and uh, put in the order. Uh, also put in the order for the MP215 because at the time that was. That was probably the warranty friendly mod and it was sort of warranty covered but not if you install it yourself as I found out later uh, and I did install it myself um, but uh, you know it kind of woke up the car a bit um, over stock um, it was fine um, for a bit um, it was a leased car as well I leased it for three years and now own it but um, and intend on keeping it forever really I, I don't have another car on the list that I really desire more than this one so that would be you know a happy fun car to drive um, with plenty of power um, so anyway after the MP215 you shouldn't really mo modify a lease car by the way but I did but I wanted it I was worried about warranty or, or keeping it not going too crazy and at the time Mount Tune hadn't really brought out their uh, stage 2 kit um, there are there are other tuners around that were kind of doing stage 1 stage 2 stuff but I wanted to stick with Mount Tune um, and uh, let's go around the car uh, so yeah that, that that's why that and then I slowly built up mods and mods and um, I've got a massive list here. I'm going to try to go through them. It, it did actually at one stage it did get the MR230 kit installed as well, um, which was a lot of fun. Uh, that that was a it, it might only be 15 or so brake horsepower more power, but I think the combination of the other required components of that tune, the um, intercool, the downpipe, the exhaust. All those things I slowly built up over time, and uh, when you put, uh, you got to do the cam timing. I, I did all that under um, under the lease as well. Towards the end of the lease, uh, I got Jamie at OEM to do that. Very knowledgeable guy. Um, big shout out to Jamie for his, all his help with that. And eventually, I I got a bit bored of it, to be honest. Um, and you just want more and uh, 
I didn't want to go big turbo at the time or anything like that or hybrid turbo so I, I just ended up unwinding the cam timing I took it back to Jamie for the for the next major service on it after four years and uh, he unwound the cam timing um, put the uh, Puma Speed 2R on it um, and that was just fan. I mean if I had my time over and, and the 2R tune was out at the time um, I probably would have just gone straight to that to be honest with you it, it really was quite uh, uh, quite a good tune out of the box with, with all those other supporting mods and it had a crackle map as well um, but anyway a bit of a spoiler alert for future videos um, it, it's an X47R these days in this car um, 2021 has been quite a big year for this car um, it's had a fair few nice to have and and uh, performance modifications done to it anyway i've got the list i'm going to try to go through them as best i can um, so i'll go through the performance mods first it's got a mount tune exhaust uh, at the back um, just down in there mount tune exhaust sounds really good i, I listened to a whole heap of exhaust videos and um, some were quite obnoxious but the and some were quite muted, but the, the Mount Tune one was a nice sort of uh, uh, a nice tone note to it. So that's and there's a lot of Mount Tune stuff on this car today. So um, I had uh, intercooler. I had a Wush Motorsports V1 intercooler, which was um, good. Um, but now these days I've got a Wagner style intercooler, um, mainly because it is a bit better fit. The Whoosh Motorsports um, intercooler is one of those uh, US intercoolers, so you've got to cut part of the under tray to fit it in down here. Um, but uh, it's just a better fit, and you can probably notice I've got a, I've got a um, big mouth air intake there, and the Wagner Stage 3 intercooler is um, a perfect fit. It's not full height, so you can still have your uh, uh, have your big mouth intake there. Um, got a whoosh catted downpipe, which has been wrapped in heat shield cloth. Um, Mount Tune high flow intercooler charge pipe um, on the hot side. That's that's required or one of the recommended tune, um, upgrades for any st uh, higher end stage two. Um, an R Sport crossover wrapped in heat uh, shield tape to try and keep the um, keep the temps down. Um, it's still got the MP215 airbox, um, mainly because uh, that airbox is really good for the big mouth intake. Um, makes a lot of sense to have that uh, with a K&N air filter. Um, if if Really, if I had my time over again and I knew what the Mount Tune airbox was, you could probably modify the stock plastic airbox and uh, drill a couple of holes in it and give it a bit more flow, upgrade the air filter, and you're probably done. But I like that because it looks very stock. Um, actually, I'll crack the um, crack the bonnet open and we'll look at some of the mods under the car. And uh, that's just what I was talking about there. There's the Mount Tune airbox. Um, the heat uh, wrapped um, R Sport crossover. Uh, what else have we got? The big mouth intake I've already mentioned. It's got a Turbo Smart plumb back blow off valve. I didn't want anything too obnoxious, like uh, massive um, blow off noises and things that would attract the wrong attention. So that's why that. Um, the X47R Turbo, uh, which has got an 11 psi spring, um, it's been preloaded. I've got a video coming up on preload of the um, X47R Turbo, um, preloaded to the Puma Speed um, recommended settings uh, from Tony at Puma Speed. Did that myself. Um, did a lot of research on how to do that. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoy that video when it comes out. Um, the turbo is also wrapped by Cool Wraps uh, 
turbo blanket that's also in that video coming up uh, big shout out to Brad on the forums he's done the same uh, on his X47R and a uh, lot of lot of reading up on heat soak on these cars um, you've, you've got to keep the temps down um, if you can when you start going to a hybrid turbo setup um, anyway handling mods uh, we've got a mount tune short shift um, uh, short shift adapter down there down in that area can't really see it mount tune uh, eye back sports springs lowers the car a little bit um, you can pretty notice the wheels are different the ST170 style um, wheels 17 inch uh, the tyres are Bridgestone RE003's 215 by 40 17 inches um, I've still got the stock rims as well I've got uh, I've got on those uh, Federal RSR Pros running the same 215's um, and uh, that's mainly for track days I do I do go to happy laps and some track days in this car just occasionally not don't go too, to too many of them but I enjoy getting it on track and it's it's a fun little nippy thing as you can imagine so it's it's pushing would be pushing over 300 brake horsepower now with the x47r it's a it's a it's a different sort of beast of a car when you when you put the x47r in with the appropriate mods um, sort of it, it definitely is a big jump from say a 250 brake horsepower uh, ish um, Puma Speed 2R or a Peron 2 Pro tune or something similar to that um, it, it does bump it right up to around the 300 brake horsepower this car's never seen anything but uh, um, fuel wise never seen anything but um, BP Ultimate 98 uh, loves it um, other handling mods, so we've got the engine mounts done, so the rear motor mount under the car is a mount tune rear motor mount, we've got the power flex driver and passenger side um, mounts done, which is um, which will come up in the X47R video installation um, it has the uh, TB performance rear torsion bar uh, and TB Performance front traction bar. Now, what this does is sort of keeps the wheels planted to the ground a bit better and improves the handling around the track. Um, I've done this instead of in upgrading the sway bars because it gives a similar sway bar type of performance, um, probably for a little bit less. Um, we've got Boomba Racing um, shift bushings. Uh, in the shifting uh, tray down there and and also in the um, uh, in the shifter um, inside the car um, this one was done this year and there's a video coming up on this as well other handling mods uh, we've got Willwood 6 um, piston big brake kit on the front uh, with braided lines um, that's page one <laughs> got heaps of mods on this thing um, on the rears it's still got the stock calipers on the rears um, the, the front brakes really are the, the major 80% I would say of the stopping power comes from the fronts um, the, the backs are probably there for the hand, for the handbrake and a little bit of support but um, I've painted the rear calipers yellow um, also swapped the um, uh, the uh, rear brake pads uh, put stop tech uh, braided lines on them as well and I've also flushed the whole brake um, system with uh, there's a video on this as well coming up on the Willwood video uh, and the brake video I uh, flushed the brake system with um, uh, we got uh, Penrite Racing 10 tenths 600 brake fluid flush through the whole system with four scan so I've got a video on that um, and other cooling and just good housekeeping mods um, I've got an N 
uh, GK Iridium one step cooler plugs. They've been gapped to uh, 0.026 inch or 0.66 millimeters, um, which is about the stage three spec gapping that they all recommend. Um, got a Mishimoto. Here we go. Mishimoto oil catch can. Just catches all the oil uh, blow off, I suppose. Um, there is a fair bit of crap that that thing catches, by the way. It's definitely worth doing. Um, I had that on the car pretty early on. Um, definitely worth doing. Um, you don't want that stuff going back in the engine. Um, what else? Oh, a Mishimoto radiator upgrade. Higher capacities, almost double the capacity. You can see it's aluminium in there. Uh, and the fr uh, fan shroud housing. Um, it's got Mishimoto radiator uh, hoses. Um, that was all flushed with Neulon high performance coolant. Big shout out to to Hayden as well, who uh, who helped me out with the X forty seven R installation. Um, that, that that is one thing that is too big to uh, to by yourself, and he did the radiator as well. Um, so and when we did the radiator, we also put in the Mishimoto racing thermostat. Uh, which was installed so um, and I've written down all this list and I knew I would forget one mod and <laughs> I was just looking at it there the um, uh, the bung plug from OEM denied uh, right there uh, for the um, symposium symposi delete definitely worth doing that one too because if you've got an exhaust um, if you've got an exhaust you really want to hear the exhaust. You don't want to hear that noise drown back into the um, into the cabin. Um, and uh, you can probably notice uh, Focus RS style hood vents. Um, this this whole car is really just a love letter to the um, Focus uh, Mark II Focus RS. I just love the look of that car. The wheels, the hood vents, um, all of that is is just purely because. I just love the look of that car, and I just want a, a mini version of that, really. Um, and you might ask why the radiator install as well, um, and and the thermostat. Uh, before I put the X47R turbo in, um, had that installed. Uh, big fan of uh, Spark Plug Steve. He does a lot of great content, and um, he blew uh, blew a cylinder, I think. Um, overheating on a tr on the track and he was getting really high temps and uh, he just had the stock thermostat I don't know if his thermostat failed or something but um, anyway he ended up cooking a piston or something and um, he got a new e engine and uh, uh, and and um, he, he basically went crazy and Got the radiator done, the thermostat done, and I, when I saw all that, I thought, you know what, I think I'll do the same thing. I'm, I'm not going to leave anything to chance. Um, not that this thing is goes anywhere near as quick as his uh, S280, I think that he that he put in it, um, Turbo Technics Turbo. But uh, yeah, it's uh, I, I just don't like leaving anything to chance. We say don't do anything by halves. Um, so styling mods. So we've got uh, we've got uh, wind deflectors, climate climate air wind deflectors. Um, you might have seen the CEUK. Um, there's an installation video on this. Um, CEUK. It's a little controller, Bluetooth receiver for the um, uh, halos. Um, we've got that fog light guy. Um, yellow fog light head covers, um, HID, HID uh, kit in, installed in the lights, uh, got a mount tune side splash strip, uh, yellow ST inlays, uh, infills and badges, um, we've got a rear spoiler lip, up here, 
got a video on that from Ali Barber coming up. That's from Ali Barber. Um, stubby um, carbon aerial. Uh, as you probably noted, the uh, personalized plates in Euro style personalized plates. Mark 7 5T, Mark 7 ST. Cheaper way of getting uh, MK7 ST. Not looking like an S. Um, front lip rubber protector with yellow lining. And you can see the Mount Tune sticker, which kind of that's just been painted black. Makes it look like the uh, Mount Tune um, front lip guard. Um, We've got 3D printed diffuser fins, which I screwed in. I've seen them all, uh, a lot of people using 3M two-sided tape, and, and they tend to come off. But I've got, I took the diffuser off and uh, and screwed them in. Like I say, don't leave anything to chance. Another mod that I have totally forgotten about is the, um, just walking around the car. Um, is the uh, mud flaps, which are uh, uh, rally sport, rally armor mud flaps as well. Um, in blue, um, got some pinstriping, and then internal mods uh, got internal LED lighting in the footwell. Um, got animated uh, sticker, uh, animated um, footwell, um, uh, sides, um, sorry, door skirting lights, got a JBR heavy short shift, uh, sorry, shift knob, that's good for shifting and helps a lot with that, um, got an ST build sticker. I don't know if you can see that in there, in the garage remote. Um, we've got uh, vent pod um, inlays uh, and a, a Turbo Smart boost gauge uh, mounted in the um, uh, in the air vent pod. Uh, CD slot mount um, phone holder there. You can just slip your phone vertically or horizontally there that's really good one of the best um, phone holding get ups uh, setups I've seen actually um, what these things are fantastic weather tech uh, front uh, driver and passenger door protectors uh, floor protectors I should say um, to replace the mats there they're screwed in um, so they don't move uh, you can spill water um, all sorts of stuff and the carpet underneath is totally protected um, it's fantastic uh, and you won't be able to see it but down in the um, accelerator pedal there's 3D printed 1.5 inch pedal spacer just brings the uh, accelerator pedal forward and up to make it uh, about the same height as the brake pedal and just helps with um, uh, rev matching and uh, downshifting rev matching, which I do get into um, around the track and uh, things like that. We've got some just some some cheap uh, car seat covers to protect the seats, um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the ST door skirt lighting up I'll have a video in, on how to install those as well and hook them up uh, still to do um, uh, the other thing too it's got a kill switch on it uh, I've got a little thing that I carry on me that won't let the car start not just the key fob uh, a lot of these cars are being stolen in the UK we aren't uh, the thieves here in Australia are probably a little bit behind um, but there's a lot of key copying happening in the um, in the UK, and I found this guy in the UK who's found this great solution um, to sort of install a, 
uh, I'll just call it a kill switch, if you will, and um, the driver keeps uh, an additional sort of key fob on him uh, or her, and if that's not around the car, they can copy the key if they want, but um, basically if, if the car doesn't detect the um, button press of the additional fob, it will stop the car in six seconds. So they won't even get out of this driveway. Uh, and if they start the car again without it, they'll get, get another six seconds down the road and uh, you'll be able to catch them, <laughs> basically. Um, so that's a really cool mod. Uh, obviously, don't want to give away too much information about how that works, but uh, um, I thought that was as good as putting in an additional alarm system. So to do, we um, I do have an upgraded ST200 clutch, uh, dual mass flywheel and slave cylinder ready to go. That's not being installed yet because um, I want to put an M factory LSD in. So I'm going to go see Jay, uh, Jamie at OEM Denied get that installed at some point. But I've sort of held off on that because of other projects. And as I say, it's only done just under 45,000 K. So um, uh, the, the, the stock clutch has got plenty of life left in it. So I want to get a bit more life out of the stock clutch first. Um, I've got some camber bolts to install. Uh, haven't installed them yet. Next time I take the wheels off, I'll get the, them installed and pretty wheel alignment. Uh, just really for track handling you can adjust the bolt to um, add some negative camber which will help handling around the track and then you can turn the bolt back to where it was and you know then it's only maybe a slight negative camber just for daily driving um, I've got rear beam bushings and front sway bar bushings to install but I haven't done that yet um, I've got a front and rear dash cam from Nextbase to install some great reviews on those in the UK. Um, I bought a cam bucket from Ron at Woosh, uh, along with the when I bought the um, Willwood Big Brake Kit off uh, Woosh as well. Um, so the cam bucket hasn't been installed, but that that probably needs to be installed uh, in in probably a couple of 10,000, 20,000 k's time, and. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's that's the car. It's quite a bit of work gone into it. Um, it's just a hoot to drive. Um, just love it. Uh, I don't think I'll ever get rid of it, to be honest. I'll, I, I was going to give it to my son when he gets old enough to drive, but um, he won't be able to drive it because it's too, too much power for the open road for a P-plater to drive anyway. So... Um, I think this is just going to be my my little beast for a while, and, and as I say, like an i30n or an i20n, uh, the i i30n looks um, is a car that I'd probably look at if, if anything ever happened to this. But but to be honest, um, this thing's probably got a bit more power um, than i30n in a straight line. Um, I can pull away from Megane. RS 275s with stage one down the straight at um, at uh, Willowbank, so <laughs> uh, it's 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 a it's a little pocket rocket. It's it's fantastic, and uh, yeah, I just love it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, keep watching for some installation videos on some of this stuff. Um, I've taken videos as I've done it. I just got to compile it and put it together, um, and uh, also there'll probably be some other content. Uh, around other topics as well. But uh, thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed.